If you've ever tried to calculate the difference between two dates in Excel, you may have encountered minor errors, especially when dealing with dates that cross a leap year. Excel contains a wonderful function for doing this exact thing, which is called date diff. The strange thing is that the date diff function does not appear in the date time category off of the formulas menu, nor does it appear if you try to manually type the function in. Notice the autofill does not show date diff as a viable option. The only way to use this function is to manually type it in. The syntax for date diff is comprised of three parts, the start date, the end date, and a unit code. The unit codes are listed here, and depending on the code you define will dictate the calculation behavior that the date diff function exercises. If you use a Y, it will calculate the number of completed years between the two dates. If you use an M, it will calculate the number of completed months, and if you use the D, it will calculate the number of days. There are three other codes not used as frequently as the previous three, but they have some very special purposes. The MD code will calculate the difference between the days, ignoring the months and the years. The YM code will calculate the difference between months, ignoring the days and the years. And the YD code will calculate the difference in days, ignoring just the years. If this sounds a little confusing, let's go ahead and build an example for each one of these, look at the numbers, and then it should make a little more sense. I'll do the first one manually. So we start off with equals, and then type in date diff, open parentheses, and I'm going to point to the start date, which I have named start date, comma. I'll point to the end date, which I have named end date, comma. And then in double quotes, I will type in the code. So if I want to calculate the number of completed years between these two dates, I'm going to type in double quote y, double quote, and then close parentheses. And as you can see, it says there are six completed years between May 3rd, 2009 and November 28th, 2015. Now just so I don't have to type in five more different equations, I'm going to modify this one and I'm going to take the unit field and I'm going to point to the code that I have defined in the spreadsheet. So that will become a variable and when I fill this down it will use a different variable for each one of these examples. So I'll give it a check and then we'll fill it down. And now let's look at these numbers. So as stated before, if I use the Y code, it will calculate the number of completed years. And in this case, there are six complete years between 2009 and 2015. If I use the M code, there are 78 months between May 2009 and November 2015. There are 2,400 days between May 3rd, 2009 and November 28th, 2015. The other three codes, MD, which gives me the difference between days, but ignores the months and the years. This tells me there are 25 days between the 3rd and the 28th, because we're not paying any attention to the month or the year. The YM code says that there are 6 months between May and November, because we're ignoring the days and the years. And the YD code tells me there are 209 days between May 3rd and November 28th, ignoring the years. If you need more information on the date diff function, you can go to the help file in Excel and type in date diff. Now not all versions of Excel contain documentation on date diff, so if your version does not contain any information on the date diff function, then a Google search on Excel date diff should bring up all the information you require.